This is Nine News with Lizzie Pearl. Good morning. We begin with breaking news out of the US, where 42 million people are under alert this morning as Tropical Storm Hillary barrels into Southern California. And adding to the chaos, the state has been struck by an earthquake. US correspondent Lauren Tomasi joins us live from Los Angeles. Lauren, there's also a state of emergency where you are. Yeah, there is, Lizzie, a state of emergency here in Los Angeles and right across Southern California. Such is the concern for this tropical storm and the weather it's bringing. You can see the rain is absolutely teeming down right now and on the way. OK, Lauren Tomasi there for us in Los Angeles. A man has died and another has been arrested after an alleged assault in Melbourne's east. Let's go live to Amber Johnston, who's at the scene in Fitzroy Gardens. Amber, what's happening? Well, Lizzie, as you can probably tell, it is still very much an active crime scene down here this morning. What are we going to do now, Damo? I don't know. Yeah. Let's play Wordle. OK, okay. let's do it. Thank you, Damo. <laughs> well, still to come, a massive multi-billion dollar defence deal. We reveal the detail on high-tech, long-range missiles expanding the strike power of Australian warships. Plus, ferocious flames and thick smoke fill the sky. Fire erupts at several major retail stores, believed to have started in a chocolate shop. And hope turns to bitter disappointment. Thousands of England fans react to the Lionesses' defeat. The Albanese government has unveiled a $1.7 billion spend on high-tech long-range missiles capable of striking an enemy 1,500 kilometres away. Let's go straight to federal politics reporter Rhys D'Alessandro in Canberra. Rhys, talk us through the deal. Lizzie, Australia will become just the third country after the Blaze US... ...to what caused the blaze. Pleas from New South Wales Coastal Councils to get rid of shark nets on the state's beaches are likely to be ignored after negotiations with the Minns government wrapped up on Friday. A lack of time to implement alternative deterrents will likely see the controversial nets reinstalled at the start of September. Well, it's one of the most difficult cancers to detect. Now, a new way of testing for ovarian cancer could change the lives for thousands of women. Plus, a day after losing contact, a Russian robotic spacecraft has crashed into the moon. Plus, breaking news in the AFL, we hear from Damien Hardwick, who's just confirmed his next role. A breakthrough this morning in the fight against ovarian cancer with Melbourne scientists developing a first of its kind blood. Sports news now and breaking news in the AFL and the Gold Coast has confirmed Damien Hardwick will take over as head coach of the club on a six year deal until the end of 2029. Hardwick stepped down as Richmond coach earlier this year after winning three grand finals over 14 seasons. To more breaking news, this time in rugby league, a huge blow for South Sydney's finals hopes with superstar Latrell Mitchell facing a one to two week suspension after being charged for an elbow to the back of Tyson Frizzell's head in yesterday's loss to Newcastle. The Rabbitohs have a bye this week before facing the Roosters in the last round, a game they will almost certainly have to win to make the top eight. Stay with us, we'll have all of your weather details after the break. Are you ready to go? Where else but the show? Experience it all on us. Win one of 25 family tickets. Watch Nine News, nightly at six. To the national forecast now. A cloudy day in Brisbane today. Sunny and 21 in Sydney. Melbourne, the chance of a shower heading for 18. The same top in Hobart. Late showers forecast for Adelaide. The fog clearing in Perth. Darwin, sunny and 33 degrees. Sunshine and a top of 26 in Brisbane tomorrow. Blue skies in Sydney and 25. A wet day ahead for Canberra. A wet day also for Melbourne, Hobart and Adelaide. 15 in all those cities. 18 for Perth. 34 in Darwin. And looking ahead to Wednesday, a hot Hot day for Brisbane, 29, the top 21 in Sydney. A sunny day also for Canberra. Melbourne overcast, cloudy in Hobart and Adelaide. A mild day ahead for Perth and sunshine across Darwin. And that is Nine's morning news. We'll have your afternoon bulletin at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in Adelaide and in Perth. I'm Lizzie Pearl. Thanks for your company.